Hey guys, this is Kyle at Setzer's World of Camping in Barbersville, West Virginia. Today I'm going to be showing you the Gulfstream Amerilite 236RL. Up front here we have our 12 volt power tongue jack. You have a up and down button here. Uh, pretty simple. You press up to make, make the camper raise up and down for down. It's a light switch underneath. Moving around here. We have a cover to two four and a half gallon LP tanks. Uh, those tanks do uh, have a valve on the top as well as a control valve, a dual stage regulator. Uh, I recommend that you move the switch over to one tank at a time. Uh, if you're running low and you need need it for the furnace at night, leave it in the middle and open both tanks. But uh, I do recommend you do one at a time. Up top here we have a butterfly valve. You're just going to uh, turn that left to lift up the metal brackets there and uh, remove the tanks to refill. Behind here we have a uh, battery disconnect switch uh, to a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery. You want to leave that switch off when you're storing the camper. On the side here we have a black tank flush. going to hook the water up to that to spray off the sensors uh, so that you can see inside on the control panel. Uh, so those sensors work. Moving on, we've got an outdoor shower here and a city water connection. Uh, that's for if you pull up to the campsite and you hook, have the water hook up there. If you want to hook up to your water pressure regulator. This is our dump station here. You always want to pull the uh, black tank first with your stinky slinky hooked up to it. Uh, that's going to be the sewage. And then you're going to want to pull the gray tank to flush it out uh, when you're done. Uh, push those back in and and screw the cap back on and make sure that cap's always on good and tight Moving along here uh, You want to make sure your lug nuts are tightened uh, a Couple times a year. Uh, I'd make sure you do it before each camping trip just to make sure uh, everything's good to go Nice smooth ride there Moving along the back here past the slide. We have a cable inlet with some brake lights beside it. Some stabilizing jacks here. There is a crank in the front compartment, which you'll see here in a second. This is your 30 amp power hookup uh, to, to hook up the cord, which every camper comes with a cord. You just simply line it up and put it on, and then there's a a black piece there that screws in and keeps it good and tight for you. Make sure that that sure power cord doesn't come undone when you're hooked up at the campsites there. Again, this is 30 amps. Uh, this unit also comes with a spare tire. Always good to have a spare tire in case you have a, something go wrong on the road there. It's also prepped for a Furion backup camera. It does not come with a camera, but we do sell the camera here at Setzer's. This compartment here is a storage, small storage space. Also, we have outdoor speakers on this unit. And looking up top, you got your exhaust there to the, over top the kitchen, kitchen vent there and your awning with your awning lights. This is gonna be your hot water tank. Uh, when you wanna drain it, you wanna release this pressure valve and let all the pressure out of there and then unscrew at the bottom here there's a cap you're going to, want to unscrew that's where the water is going to come out of be careful it is hot that's why you want to go ahead and try to uh, let the pressure off before you go to unscrew that cap very easy to close back up there moving on you have your furnace exhaust here and your refrigerator exhaust another outdoor speaker this is going to be your outside GFCI outlet, protected outlet, and a cable inlet uh, right above it if you want to watch some TV under the awning there. This door is also a stiff hinge door, so the wind can't grab a hold of it. Slam it if, if it's a windy day out. This is going to be the other side of that cargo storage. It's going to pass through all the way, and you also have your cranks there in case you need to case of power failure, you need to uh, 
level the, the, the front jack there. This is going to be your starter kit. It comes with a, a uh, stinky slinky to hook up to your sewer. Also comes with a water hose and an adapter to hook up to your house. I recommend you do not use an extension cord with that adapter. This, this is going to be the hose for your city water connection. And this is your water pressure regulator. You're going to want to hook that up to your hose uh, before you uh, hook it into the, the side of your camper there. These are the bio pouches. You're going to want to put them in your toilet when you go to, to clean it out there. Now that I showed you the outside there, I want to show you a couple things up here on the roof. Uh, when you're going to pull your slide in, you always want to make sure you clean the debris off of it so it doesn't pull that debris in and mess up your slide there. Uh, when you want to come up here once or twice a year, make sure everything's sealed around the edges of, of everything except for the AC. We do sell a self-leveling leveling polymer here at Setzer's, um, or we can also, you can schedule to service uh, for us to service that uh, ourselves. It's, I believe it's under $100, so uh, well worth it, but you do want to inspect these seals uh, once or twice a year, at least. Now that I've showed you the outside and the roof, I want to take you inside here. Uh, first thing we have here is our uh, control panel monitor. Uh, you got your light lights control here. This controls everything in the unit, and you can individually turn those lights off as well. Uh, this is going to be your slide in and out button. Uh, simply press in for it to come in, out for it to go out. Once you hear a little cranking noise two times, two or three times, you, you stop it there and uh, it's, it's fully extended out. Make sure it's fully extended out. This is going to be your awning retract and extend button. Uh, just like it sounds, you will want to extend it until you see the metal bar. Uh, don't ever overextend it uh, so you won't have any mechanical problems. This is going to show you your uh, tank levels and battery levels here, these buttons. You do not have a gray two, um, but that shows you your levels there. And then you also have your, your battery, um, your water pump there. And, and then moving on to the thermos, thermostat. Uh, just works like your uh, basic thermostat in your home there. It has the cool cool setting for the AC and the furnace as well. Moving along here, you have a station for your TV here, um, a uh, backer location there, all your hookups, surround sound, also has FM, AM radio, zone one and two for the indoor and outdoor speakers. Up here you have some, some storage space for DVDs or, or whatever you want to put up there. Below is also some more storage space. Moving around here, uh, you have your dinette. You can push that table, pull that table out, take the legs off of it, and push it down, and put those two cushions in the middle and make a bed. This here is the individual lighting I was speaking about earlier. Moving to the back here, this unit has a lot of storage up top and and uh, all the way around there. You know, this size typically doesn't have this much storage, but this this layout particularly does. Uh, you got your kitchen here, your your back bed there also jackknifes down into a into a bed, the couch there. Sorry, up here more storage, a lot of storage space. Like I said before, this is your your oven. Uh, to use your oven, you're gonna want to turn the gas on for a couple seconds. Don't wait too long, and then turn the igniter and that will light your gas. Uh, same goes for the oven. Uh, moving along, this is your gas fridge here. Uh, this is going to run off uh, propane or 12 volt battery. Uh, it's good for when the electric goes out. You can switch it over and run it off of, of the propane there so your food doesn't go bad. This is your AC unit. Uh, it's got a slide on it here. You're going to want to flip that slide closed for it to go through the the, the other vents, the circular vents, or leave it open for the full pour there. 
this is going to be your furnace. So this is where your heat's going to come from. You also got a smoke alarm here. Always good to have that. Moving back around. More storage here. You have your LP gas CO2 detector and your control panel for your breaker box. Uh, always know where your main breaker is. This is where you, you uh, if you need to replace one of those, you can do so. Also have a uh, fire extinguisher. Moving on to the bathroom here. Pretty good sized bathroom for, for the camper world. Uh, this is your main GFCI outlet, so if, if you need to reset it, that's where it's located. For your exhaust vent, you're going to want to turn this to lift up, press the button. That's going to pull all the, the bad smells or heat out of the camper there. Just make sure it's closed when, when you're done all the way so you don't have any, any leaks there. Have a nice, nice uh, shower here with a skylight. A little extra headroom. Moving back to the bedroom. Well, on each side you're going to have outlets beside the bed, USB outlets and GFCI outlets. Another uh, vent above you there. There's outlets on both sides and. Uh, there's also some cabinetry here uh, if you want to hang some clothes or, or store, you know, some some clothes and shoes and stuff in there. This is where your TV mount's going to go. That's a back, back row location for the bedroom. And I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the Gulfstreams Ameritolite 236RL. Thank you very much and uh, happy camping.